enough that I'm about to go to Walmart and steal a baby. Monday of the final week before Christmas break and it's yeah I just said it was Monday anyway um, I'm currently not at school because I just got finished taking my exam so I can stay employed so um, I honestly thought it was, went pretty well. Um, I gotta be careful because you guys are sitting on my dashboard and that could be a little bit dangerous. <clears throat> if I hit the bricks, you go flying. Anyway, I need to get something to like attach you to my car so it doesn't like fly somewhere. Anyway, um, I thought it went pretty well. It was honestly easier than the Kentucky music test, I thought. You should reach your destination by 9.30 a.m. Thank you. In 400 feet, turn right onto I-20 Frontage Road. But, um... Turn right onto I-20 Frontage Road, I-20 West. I got it. Um... Oops, see, there you are. There you go again. Okay. This isn't gonna work. Okay, I'm home now, so I can I can properly talk to you um, without all the craziness of driving. Anyway, so after I took my test, I was like, well, now I have the whole day to kind of just do whatever. And I was like, well, I'm gonna go get my license changed. So uh, went to do that, got a number, uh, started filling out all the application thing. And then I realized I needed proof that I live where I'm saying that I live. And I didn't have that, so I just left. Um, but I also wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit more what's going on this week other than the us coming out, um, other than us coming home. On Friday, I have a doctor's appointment. And as most of you know, uh, Bill and I have been trying to start our family um, for two years now and we have been unsuccessful so I think it's time that we my soup is done uh, I think it's time that we start taking some action on that and um, that's what the appointment for Friday is going to be so I will fill you all in with that as it happens we're live we're on the road. Yeah, we're in. And I think we're like 10 miles outside of Little Rock. Woo. Little Rock, Arkansas. I think we left at what, 4? Arkansas. Uh, 4. I think it was, it was like, no, it was before 4 because I remember thinking it was like 3.50 something. Yeah, but then we had to go back. Yeah. So we're caravan caravaning with someone from Litchfield who we found out lives in Kentucky. We should talk about that story. It lives in Fort Worth. Yesterday we kind of had like several different things go on. First off, the puppies were born. Yeah! Woo woo! One litter. We're not going to get one out of this litter. I don't like think Because so. Amanda doesn't like the harlequin or the fawn. Because the fawn's not completely brown. It's, it's it looks like, like a, a dark white. brown. Yeah. And it has a white stripe on its uh, stomach. Which, Which is probably not a big deal. Yeah, it's probably going to be a very beautiful dog. I mean, I would be okay. Her, no, I mean, it, be, it might round. be okay. What, Logan? But, uh, Logan wants to be in the video. So, uh, yeah, that's that's what happened with me. What happened with you? Well, I had my doctor's appointment. Oh. oh. So, basically, those of you who watch our videos know now about know that, you know, what we've gone through this year and how long we've been trying to start our family, and it hasn't been the 
easiest. It's been long enough that I'm about to go to Walmart and steal a baby. <laughs> We're gonna steal a baby. Um, and basically, the short of it is, we tried for six. We tried for 16 months. Got pregnant. been eight months since then, still not pregnant. So I made an appointment because I'm figuring like, okay, 25 months and I'm, I still don't have a baby. They're definitely going to do something. Like, no doubt in my mind was that like, going to happen yesterday. Like, give me Clomid or something to help me, whatever. Well, talk about all this with the doctor. And she basically just said, because I did get pregnant, even though we lost it, that means, and also because I'm pretty, pretty regular with my cycles, that I'm obviously, I am ovulating, and that there was really nothing they could do, except all I could do was wait and give it time. Which is completely ridiculous. That's not what my doctor in Kentucky told me. Like, had I not gotten pregnant, you know, it's because we're in Texas. I don't know what the reason is. I don't know what the reason is. It's just like she is like the only way you can get any kind of medications is if you go to a fertility specialist. That guy's got a leak of some kind. And that's not true either. Like I called my doctor, well not my doctor anymore, but I called the doctor I used to go to in Kentucky to talk to like the nurse or something and say, is this the normal? Like, is this what would have happened if, had I come to you guys? Like, is this the response I would have gotten? And she basically told me that, uh, no, like, that was crazy, and I should definitely get a second opinion. So that's what I'm going to do. Like, I have an appointment for this fertility specialist in January, but I'm probably not going to go because, number one, he might just look at me and say, well, you're ovulating and there's nothing we can do. That's what the doctor said, so why would the fertility specialist be in It's because of Obamacare is the problem. Obama is the problem here, okay? I don't think Obama's the problem. Obama but... is the problem. We can blame him. That's I blame him. him. That's fine. Um, but, so that was really extremely disappointing yesterday, especially because I really expected the complete opposite of that. You know, I think anybody goes to a doctor and they say they've been trying for 25 months and they're under 30, the doctor would be like, oh yeah, we got to do something about well, that. Well, you're just barely under 30. Let's not be mean here. There's nothing wrong with being 30. I'm not 30, so let's, let's be real. Um, and then also I found out that I passed my test, so I'm not going to lose my job. One good thing that happened. That's yesterday. one good thing that happened yesterday. Well, the puppies were born, so, yeah. so two against one, but the big one. But we're not going to get one of the puppies, so it's basically like it did. Well, now. no matter what, you have to wait till February, so. Yeah. But February comes, we'll make a whole video about getting our new puppy. Yeah. Because it's going to be amazing. I think, honestly, guys, I think that's why you don't get one. And it's just for that. No. I think it was. Well, we could take pictures every month, like we talked about. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Seeing how that much it's growing. Especially the first I tell you year. what, these people down here cannot drive to save their life. If they were put in a parking lot and were told to make it around the parking lot without doing something stupid, they wouldn't be able to do it. No people in the freaking parking lot, they'd still fail. Oh, we 
we're almost to Bill's parents' house. And there we go. He wants to make it unspecial. But anyway, we're here, and no one's here to greet us because they're out getting pizza. <laughs> Well, they were doing something for wings on, it's something to do with that wings on a prayer. Yeah, sure. Boys mess with. Whatever.